there, it's Lori here. I'm stopping in today to show you something that um, I've been working on today. Um, it is an embossed envelope. Lately I've been a tad obsessed with envelopes. Um, I have a little rainbow collection right here that I fit into this little fridge bin. And I saw a emboss plate that you could buy from some company. You have to buy this little machine to press in your address and it ended up being about $45. And I realized I didn't want to spend that and I could probably do it myself with what I have here. So I don't know how well you can see this, but this one I've um, embossed hugs in the flap and this one I've embossed smile. So I have a couple different things here, the hugs, the smile, a hello, and then for my last name, a monogram for the flap. I'm using MFT's High Rise Alpha, the uppercase for the monogram, and then I have this hello set from MFT and then also these sending hugs dies from MFT. So let me get organized and I'll show you how I did this. So hopefully I have enough space to share this with you. Um, I went through several trial and errors of how to get this done without ripping the flap. And I first took about four of these things and stacked them up together, glued them together and that ripped the envelope. Um, then I went down to three and then I went down to two and really the best way to get the embossed look on the envelope is uh, one die cut. And I used 110 pound cardstock, so it is thicker, but um, all you need is one. Basically what you're doing is putting the flap towards you and then just flipping it over and your die cut goes upside down on the inside. Another thing I tried to make it easy was washi, but the washi tape embossed on the outside of the tape. So what I found to be the easiest is just to use a little bit of a removable adhesive on the front of the die, and I just put a couple of dots on both sides of the die. Now just to make the inside of the flap look nice, you don't want that to rip off. So I just removed a little bit of the adhesive just by pressing on it with your finger, and that way it's still sticky, but it's not as sticky. So then you're just gonna center that right here and then press that down. All right, so for the sandwich with your Big Shot, um, I'm using the platform with the two, with just the embossing plate down. Then I have the envelope with the die cut face down. An embossing mat goes on top. And because I just did this trial and error, I have several shims. I have an A2 card base, and then I ended up using three of the envelopes I messed up just for shims. You can obviously use cardstock for that. And then you just run that through your machine. Then when you pull off all of your shims and your embossing plate, then you can see that you have the perfect embossed hugs on the outside of your card. So now I'm gonna show you the monogram. For the monogram, just put that envelope flap towards you. Just a couple dots of adhesive so it sticks down. Remember to just run your finger over that to take a little bit of the sticky away. And that just goes just like that. One way that you can kind of look to see if you've got that centered is to look at it in the light, which I can't show you guys from this camera. But if you can see on this side, the outline of, or the silhouette of your die, that can kind of help you straighten it out. Your die cut is going down, embossing mat neck. Your shims, and just play with those shims to see how many you need. Again, I have an A2 card base and three envelopes. And then you can see there I've got the perfect monogram. There's so many different die cut alphabets out there that you could really get some pretty monograms. This is just a basic shape, but again, it's already personalized for me. We'll do one more. This is another basic sentiment. A little bit of glue on the front. Remove some of that sticky. So upside down with the flap pointing towards you. And then you can just center that in the middle of the flap. Press that down. Turn that over. One more time, embossing mat, A2 card, three envelopes, and I'm gonna run that through. So when you take off your embossing mat, you have a perfect embossed hello. So I hope you've enjoyed my video. This is definitely just a fun way to dress up your envelopes and it's super quick and easy. Thanks so much for watching and I hope you have a great day.